So this is the bonnet. We've got a few issues. I didn't actually end up lacquering this because I walked into it, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to sand it back and do it again. But there are also some little tiny holes in the filler. Um, see them here. So what I'm going to do is just use a pen to fill them up with paint before I sand them back. And we'll see how that goes because otherwise if I just sand them back and paint again they'll still be there because we won't we won't um, get back through enough coats. Slight issue here. Need a do over on the bonnet because um, smudged it a bit and there was a few other marks on there so we're going to do the bonnet again. There's the bonnet. It's going to need quite a few coats because we've gone through in some places. Just been over it with the panel wipe. Got this side of the car protected. I'll move the boot. Um, we're going to be spraying in this direction and the extraction straight there. Hopefully that means with the extraction right there that we'll avoid any overspray coming back onto the car. I haven't rubbed the car down yet so if there is a bit it doesn't matter too much but obviously we've got the um, this side of the car protected. So tack rag, we'll mix up some paint, we'll put on the extractor, I'll put on the suit and the mask, we'll get that done. I've also got the wheels outside, just going to give them a, they have an all new tyres so they'll be not masked off the tyres, that doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, let's get on, get this and the wheels spray and then hopefully we can move forward. Alright, you'll see me spraying in a minute. Tack rag. That's going to be last clear coat and then panel's done for now. Right, this is a um, slightly um, ceremonial or special moment in this uh, project. We are going to attach the first piece of the car not necessarily the right thing to do first but I want to do sound deadening and if I'm going to do sound deadening um, there's some bars that the seats mount onto um, that will be in the way when we place the sound deadening sheets so we're going to bolt something onto the freshly prepared car they were cleaned up and um, just painted black I'm not sure if they should be in glass or matte, but they're in matte black for now. Probably doesn't matter what colour black they're in, they, um, they get chipped up either because they're underneath and uh, stone chips or um, when a seat's open and close onto them inside probably remember that uh, when I made the doors I put some sound deadening inside on the skins if you watched that video uh, we're going to use a lot more of that sound deadening now just laying out the panels just to see where we're going to put them and um, actually I've already done the roof the roof has always made a tin sound um, from whenever I've had the car because the felt had all um, dropped off all the glue and it was just sitting on the top of the headlining um, so th this is the first time ever that this car has not had a tinny roof. I'll just show you. <laughs> so there you go, we've got a load of these 
dodo mat hex soundproofing uh, materials as you can hear the roof is not tinny and that is the first time it's ever been like that so now I've just laid out a load in the car as you can see them here and I'm going to start sticking them down so this is the first one I've just stuck out in we'll get one there and one there let's have a look and see how we did then all obviously going to be under carpet hopefully this makes a reasonable replacement for what was here before a little extra piece there I've put some on the um, parcel shelf which I know is not original but I feel like that helps out over there And lastly, put some down in the boot just to help in case that's going to do any drumming. Yeah, should control the sound a bit better. Next job. I put some of the wiring in place. Um, we're also also putting in um, the brake lines and the fuel lines underneath. They kind of mixing between the two. So I don't know what you'll see next, but um, yeah, that's what we're working on. <laughs> 